Well, welcome once again to Guitar Practice Perfectly TV, and here we are in the studio. Guitarists, ancient and modern. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have in the studio my very good friend Tristan Shear. Tris, welcome. It's a joy to have you here. Lovely to see you. Tris, uh, along with most of my dear friends, is a great, great guitar player. We only have great guitar players here at GPP. And uh, Tris and I go back uh, quite a few years. Tris came to my house many years ago with another young guitar player. And Tris, being the kind of person you are, were very, was very, you're very quiet and shy and quite self-effacing. And, and I said, well, do you, do you play the guitar a bit? And Tris he said, yeah, I'll play a bit. I said, well, c can you play me something? And uh, you got out your Simon and Patrick and it totally blew me away. <laughs> I thought, this guy is incredible. And um, I was just drawn to you as a person. I was drawn to your playing. And I thought, I've got to try and help this guy as much as I can. And, uh, uh, I think I was responsible for your early recording at my house and That's your right. first album. Yeah, yeah. And of course, bless your heart, you've gone from strength to strength since then. And uh, you're currently working with Jackie Oates, aren't you? Yes. That's Tell right. me about Jackie. I haven't, I've never had the pleasure of seeing her perform, but I know she's a very highly regarded uh, artist. Yeah, she's um, she's at the forefront really of the current uh, UK folk scene. She's um, one of the sort of new young generation of. of um, singers um and she uh i was it was a bit of a dream gig for me because i was already a fan of hers i bought one of her albums on having seen her perform in a duo um a few months previous and um she'd uh really i thought she was fantastic beautiful voice everything and then randomly out of the blue she'd she'd sent me an email to say that her guitar player was uh emigrating and she, she's, and there was a vacancy. Would I be interested? And she just found she it? got my name through a mutual, um, a, a mutual friend, because uh, you know the folk scenes like everyone knows each, other, everyone knows someone who knows someone. It is a very small world. It's like it's like a large family, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It doesn't mean we all get on. But it's like <laughs> a large family, yeah. Um, so she invited me to try out really for her band. So I went to meet her um, in London, and she'd asked me to prepare a couple of a couple of songs from the record so I sort of prepared the entire record just to make sure <laughs> and um, the entire well, I just you know you know it's nice to be I, I think you should be prepared Absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah so 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 she hired me which was nice and that was three and a half years ago now I think um, did she know of your work through uh, your your columns in, in in the techniques and guitarist magazine I believe her brother did because her yeah. brother's also a, um, a well-known folk artist called Jim Moray yeah. And um, uh, and he's he's a bit of a guitar nerd like I am, so I think he mm. he, he was aware of my name. But viewers, we're all guitar nerds. You never <laughs> it, you never grow out of being a guitar nerd. I think the day you stop is the day you should start worrying whether you should carry on playing the guitar because we're all we're all um, we're all fanatical about the instrument and we just love it. Mm. I want to go back a few years, Tris. You know, with that first album, because you've like many people have worked very hard at your career and apart from being a great player you're a very school musician tell me about your early studies it was in Dartington wasn't it yeah well I'd um I went to Dartington College of Arts in Devon to do my uh, music degree but I'd, I'd gone as a as really as a rock guitar player and that, that was my my main thing at the time I was into violin, Satriani and all of those you know technical wizards and, and everything and and um it was really at university that I I found the steel string acoustic guitar partly through a record I had of yours actually as it happens. You done no no you done a demo for Guitarist magazine on the cover CD I think there was a, a demonstration of the product you were uh, you were okay. promoting at the time and it was that that captured it, actually the, my imagination. So I found the steel string acoustic guitar uh, as my thing and I found my it was weird I, at university it was you know they actively encourage collaboration and cross disciplinary study and all the rest of it but my creative output became increasingly <laughs> insular I kind of went the other way really and it came out came out a soloist um, you see I didn't know this I, I because when the first time I heard you play uh, you're such a great acoustic player I thought that was what you started out on well I I that's sweet of you but I'd, I'd taken um, classical lessons for a few years and I'd done a few grades yeah. not to any high standard particularly but just enough to kind of give you the yeah. disciplined starting point and then I kind of took it my own direction I suppose 
Um, I don't know. Yeah, my my musical study was quite diverse. Um, I didn't really focus really heavily heavily on one thing. Mm. You know, I, I played electric guitar, played classical guitar, found my voice really on steel string acoustic guitar, which is I don't know in some respects a happy medium, perhaps. Yeah. But, so since then, it's just it's been my thing, and um, well, not only my thing, but. You know. I think that um, what people should be aware of, if they don't know already, is 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 your reputation, as uh, with via your columns, via Guitar Techniques and Guitar Magazine, or Guitarist Magazine, and the fact that you have a very broad taste because you've had to because you've been doing these style files yeah. uh, sections, you focusing on different players' styles. I mean, even even did me, bless your heart. But I know you've done Nick Drake, you did Bert Janch, and that must broaden your. Uh, taste in music mm. because it means you've got to delve into those styles it's a, that's always been a good thing for me to have to if have writing a monthly article mm. on something on a on a player or a technique say mm. was is is good for me because it forces me to do something creative at least once a month i know that doesn't sound like doing a lot of work but it just some you know artists are very good at making excuses for not writing something new or i didn't have a flash of inspiration or i didn't you know, I I was busy, whatever. But if you have to have, if you have to work to a deadline, that's a, that that's is a good that thing. is a very good thing. That's the the inspiration, the impetus. One of my yeah. sorry, sorry, but I was going to say on that. One of my my mentors at university uh, was a um, a composer called Edward Cowie, who um, I'd want to pick his brains at any given opportunity, and I go to his office, and there'd be a sign on the door saying, "Do not disturb composing." And I, at the time, felt really disappointed by that because I couldn't go and ask him a question about my, something I've been writing or, yeah. or whatever. But in, a, in another sense, no, he was perfectly entitled to that time to be working creatively himself. Mm-hmm. And I sort of, you know, respected that. And it's kind of made me think, yeah, you do have to force yourself sometimes to sit and study and practice. You do, you do. You have write. to have a routine. I, I, I personally haven't written anything for quite a while can you know been uh, focusing on performance and doing my gigs with Oliver Wakeman but my take my view of you Tris is, is a very not only a very fine guitar player but your your compositions just blow me away I think they to me they've they they've got it all they've got great technique they've great they've got great melodic content um, and uh I've always kind of viewed you at the time as a young John Remborn, yeah. and that's a, that's a great compliment. That is a compliment, you know, because of your your very uh, sound technique, your finger style technique. Can we just look today at the guitar you're going to be playing for us? Sure, yeah. Tell us about this guitar. This is a custom filed full staff, mm. um, as you'll know, and many other people know. Filed guitars uh, made by. Uh, a fine gentleman called Roger Bucknell up yeah. in up in. Penrith. I'm asking this question because I know what the guitar is, but the viewers won't know. Okay, this and is it, you it never <laughs> ceases to amaze me the number of people they say to me, "What guitars you use?" I say, "Well, I, I play a filed, filed. Never heard of them." Yeah, and Roger's been making the greatest guitarists on great greatest guitars on the planet for years now, and oh, it, it always astonishes me that people haven't heard of him. But he, he, yeah, yeah. Well, it's you know, it's just when you're making guitars of that quality, you can't turn out that many of them. So I suppose no. that's part of the. And it's not a factory; it's a workshop. It's a workshop. This is um, uh, this is the first. I've I'm, I've got a little set of them actually. I'm very lucky, um, but this was the first one he made, and this is would be my uh, house burning down. Which guitar do you rescue? Guitar. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry, Roger. I don't mean I wouldn't try and get the others out as well. But yeah, but that's going to be that's that'd be your first choice. This would be my first choice. So, yeah. Before you play for us today, I want to uh, I just ask you what 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 you got planned for the future. What's your 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 current activities? Um, well, I've got I've just um, f- released a new album of guitar instrumentals, um, which is called Middle Child, mm-hmm. uh, and you can uh, go to my website tristansume.co.uk if you're interested. You can download it from there, um, and it's a mixture of um, Celtic pieces, uh, original compositions, and a couple of uh, a couple of covers, um, and so I've been busy with that. Um, still, still working for Guitar, Tec- Guitar Techniques magazine. Um, and and I do gigs with Jackie, of course. Still, uh, still yeah, doing gigs with Jackie. Yeah, um, and a smattering of my own solo gigs along the way. Um, 
Alapogita Festival. Everyone wants to go to Alapogita Festival. Mm. That's a, an annual. Yes, I went there a couple of years ago. It's a great experience. A long way though. It's a long way, but it's a jewel, a jewel in the crown. It, it is. Yeah, you're a regular awesome. fixture there. Tris, it's, it's a joy to get you here today. I've been trying to get you up to GPP for ages now. I'm glad you found the time in your busy schedule. And uh, I know we're all looking forward to hearing you play later. Thank you very much.